What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Double A Hef here with another dose of the Truth Scope. So, as you can see, this is yet another video on the um, well, another video using the video that I was using a couple days ago, uh, because it's very relevant. Last I used this video, I was discussing uh, some things that happened with Kanye West. Now they're gonna take this conversation a little further and start talking about the quote unquote culture. Uh, so before I even get into any of that, please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll give you a couple seconds to do so. Thank you. So uh, we have to be very careful w when we um, allow people to uh, define uh, the words that we use, one, and be, well, not and, but by extension, when they define the words that we use, then they can define us as long as we don't know uh, how to define ourselves or find self-worth, all right, or actually have uh, this your, your life figured out and, and what we're supposed to be doing, how we're supposed to be moving, okay? So let me repeat that. If you allow people to do that, they'll they'll redefine the words that you use and that you um, accept, and then in doing so, they'll be able to define you. And some words, for example, would be quote-unquote black, Okay. Go ask 10 different, quote unquote, uh, not, you know, just go ask 10 different people. They don't all got to be the same race or, or mm -hmm. ethnicity or et cetera, et cetera. And just go ask 10 different people. All right. And then for the people that's going to say, well, well, I mean, well, only quote unquote black people could define black people. Okay. And then for y'all, go out there and ask 10 more people that, are, that just happen to be so called black. Uh, what does that mean? All right. And then while you're at it, Ask, ask these, these very same people, what does quote-unquote culture mean? What does that mean? Because, again, <clears throat> if you don't know, someone else is going to tell you what it is. All right? And that may not necessarily be what it is. So I know oftentimes I get people in the comments saying, oh, you like to say quote-unquote a lot. And I, you know what? It's not so much that I like to say it a lot. I need to say it to make myself clear. And you may say, okay, well, you use it a lot. Well, that be, that's because a lot of these words and terms have been redefined. Have They have been redefined. They don't mean what they're supposed to mean. Or or for some other words, they, they mean something, like for instance, with the word black. I guarantee you, if you when you ask those 10 people or 20 people, whatever, now one of them is going to tell you, oh, it's a color. They're not going to tell you it's a color. They're not going to tell you it's a color. Not one. Not one's going to tell you it's a color. But that's what it is. Black is a color. It's not a history month. It's not, it's not a goddamn day. It's the color of her hair. The color of the freaking uh, the chair that's behind her. You know? So it doesn't denote any kind of uh, history. Unless, again, you're talking about the etymology of the word black. It doesn't denote any type of uh, culture. Um, any type of heritage. Lineage, none of the above, none of the above. But if you let them tell you, or you let them tell it, it does. It does. So some people might be saying, oh, so what's the big deal? What's the big deal? When you say black or people people say black, we know what they're talking about. But the answer is, well, not the answer, but the question is, but do you? Do you know what they're talking about? Because if everyone's not uniform in understanding what the hell they're talking about when they say quote unquote black, then isn't that an issue? Wouldn't that lead to to breakdowns? You know, when when one group or when one person is expecting a different outcome from another, doesn't that lead to breakdown and dis and and possible like destruction? You know, doesn't that lead to um, the the breakdown of the quote unquote culture to, or the quote unquote community? You know, so people may think that oh, hey. You know, that's a whole nothing burger, what, what Dub is saying. You know, uh, it's not really relevant. It is. It's the little things. You know, and I'll, I'll analogous to any any sports team. You could be the best freaking athletes that you want, right? But if you go out in that football field, and if y'all not, you know, getting to work, getting into practice, and you're not doing reps, you don't have any timing down with your, with your quarterback, timing down on your routes, and none of that stuff, you know, you don't understand each other's tendencies, then you're not going to win. You're not going to win. And it's going to be the little things. 
The little things like going over the route tree, going over, hey, what, what we do when, when we get a weak side blitz, what we do when we get a strong side blitz, you know, what, what what's the hot routes, what's the hots, you know what I mean? Like the basics, the basics, how to run a hitch in your respective offense, you know what I mean? How to, how, how to effectively run a six route, you know, th- these are all things that, hey, you know what? If if the quarterback is thinking one thing and the receiver is thinking another thing, it's going to be an interception. It's going to be an interception, okay? The defense is going to take that ball to the house. So the same rules apply for the quote-unquote black community. If we're not, if we can't get the little things right, of course we're not going to get the big things right. And obviously, brothers, I'm talking to y'all. We have to get the little things right. You know, in our, in our day-to-day lives, we have to get the little things right. You know, every day you got to ask yourself, hey, what did I do to, to make myself better? Focus on you because you can't help anybody unless you can help yourself. All right. So if you if you got some some changes that you need to make in your life to make those changes, focus on you, work on you. OK, because you shouldn't be dealing with no woman. You shouldn't be um, living outside your means if you don't have your ish together or, or if you're living at your, your mother's house still or you're living on your cousin's um, sofa. Or something like that. Or in your brother's basement. You know, get yourself together. Be a man. All right? You have to establish your own. And then once you establish your own, then you can you can dictate what goes on in your own home. All right? You then you get to make demands. But you have to manifest that on your on your own first. So anyway, without without you know being too long winded, I'm gonna start this video. And I'm gonna break it down as as it goes, all right? What is he really doing? You know what I'm saying? Is he, what is he actually affecting in your household? Not but uh, see, no, no, he doesn't affect nothing. They're talking about Kanye. To the my household, but, but here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying, saying being not B. a thing. Hey, let me just tell you. I'm just telling you, and 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 I and I feel you on that. He doesn't affect us personally, right? But but the the show is called the culture. Okay, let's let's like 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 the show is called the culture. The show, the, the, the... all right, see, so yeah, brother. Let's see w- mm-hmm. what he has to say about the quote unquote culture. All right, he's a part of that culture. He's a part of the culture, and here's the thing: the culture has to be discussed, right? And when you have individuals who, let me let me reframe this: we are trying in this day and time to get us to think about the whole and not about the individual. Well, I'm, I may, maybe I missed it. I don't think he said anything about what the culture actually is. He just used the word, the culture, or the words, the culture. So I'm rewinding it, and we're going to see if he actually says anything about it. It's culture. He's a part of the culture. And here's the thing. The culture has to be discussed, right? And when you have individuals who... Let me let me reframe this. But brother, discuss what? If you can't even on your on your channel on your page, which is called the quote unquote hashtag the culture, then then how the hell can people discuss it? And, and that's what I was saying in the inter, in, the, in the introduction. What is the culture? You hear brothers running around saying this? Oh, I do it for the culture. Do it for the culture. Do it. All, all this nonsense. Um, oh, black. Oh, I'm black, black. All that nonsense. What is that? What is that? What is that? You know, has, has, has quote unquote black people just been reduced to popular culture and slang to the point where it means whatever the hell anybody wants it to mean at that time? No, that can't be right, right? And this can't be coming from the the super woke woke liberals, you know, that's supposed supposed to be representative of the intelligentsia, right? Right? They wouldn't be the ones that that are, just, that are signing off on on that nonsense, now would they be? And again, I'm not talking about liberals from a perspective of, of you know uh, politics. I've said it before. I'll say it again. I'm apolitical. Years ago, I used to be heavily, heavy, heavy, heavy into politics. I went to school for political science. I worked on many campaigns, all right? I was a young Democrat for many years, many, many years. Um, a lot of experiences doing that, you know, a lot of experience. I got, got to meet a lot of uh, influential people 
you know, I, and I, you know, the takeaway is good. The takeaway uh, is good. I, I don't regret any of it. You know, I can look back at it and say I was definitely heavily indoctrinated into some nonsense, and I and the, some of the stuff that I used to say was definitely like out there. But obviously, you know, as a man, and you grow and you mature, you change because you know we're dynamic. We're forever changing, and with that, perspective changes. So when the perspective changes, you need to be able to look and say, "Hey, like I was there, now I'm here." Um, and 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 you know, it might be not I was there in a good spot, now I'm here in a bad spot, or maybe hey, I was in an okay spot, now I'm in a better spot. It, it, it could it varies, but you need to be able to identify the distance traveled, and I don't mean literally the distance traveled, obviously, but I mean like the uh, metaphorically, you know, the difference. Um, travel but let me get back to the video we are trying in this day and time to get us to think about the whole and not about the individual we are trying in this day and time to focus on truth and not on emotional rants and emotional out well it's funny that he says on truth and not emotional rants and emotional outbursts whatever because the last video that i did i think it was two videos using this video as like a like a leaping pad, uh, that's all he was doing. You know, this, his brother's talking about the truth. He doesn't know the truth. He wouldn't know the truth if the truth walked up and slapped him in the damn face. He wouldn't know it. And that's not to put this man down. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. I can tell by listening to him speak for a grand total of about freaking what, 30 minutes total, I think it was. I listened to this guy. Um, he doesn't know the truth. But again, people, if y'all out here and y'all allowing, and, and most, most of it, look, I get most of y'all on my channel, y'all are not the ones that I'm talking to. And that's why it's so important that y'all do like, share, and subscribe this. I'm trying to grow this channel. I have a goal. Let's let's reach a thousand subscribers by the end of this year. All right. By December 31st, let's get to a thousand subscribers. I need y'all help. Help me get to a thousand subscribers. Because again, um, I, I know the majority of the people, brothers on my channel. I'm not saying y'all fully, fully, fully uh, agree with what I'm saying, but for the most part, y'all understand it already. Y'all already understand it, all right? So I make these videos not so much for y'all. And I, you know, if you get anything from it, then yeah, great, it's for you. But mainly, I, I need the people that don't get it. And there's a lot of young brothers out there that don't get it. And there's a crap ton of older brothers out there that really don't get it. And some might say, hey, they ain't never going to get it. And that might be true, but I'm not going to give up on them. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to give up on them, so you shouldn't either. All I'm asking is a like, a share, and a subscribe. Put it out there. Let people know. All right? Because th if not, they they'll be out here saying some nonsense like this, brother, and just don't know nothing. First, we are trying in this day and time to have progress, have real conversations about the progress and the elevation of our consciousness. And and so when you're talking about an end, elevation of your consciousness, <laughs> consciousness, what does that mean, brother? You you he he he's just stringing together a, a word salad. But what are what is he what is he trying to say, y'all? Do you know what he's trying to say? Has he a, a defined culture yet, or quote unquote black? Individual who has influence. Who we know, who you know, who we have kind of quote unquote grown up with. Are you talking about an individual that has? My man stole my my quote unquote. About <laughs> an individual who has influence, who we know, who you know, who we have kind of quote unquote grown up with. Are you talking about an individual that has some sort of sway, right? If if you're talking about a person that has a the possibility to disrupt. Let me, let me let me disrupt you real fast because what you're basically getting at is that you quote unquote kind of grew up with Kanye and he has sway but that that's where you're wrong dude that's where you're wrong because if he has sway over you you know who gave it to him you did you did so don't get mad at him for having quote unquote sway because when he had quote unquote sway and you liked it you were cool with it that's why you relinquished it but now, since you don't agree with what he's saying or his message, now you're upset about it. Is if the, is that not emotional uh, ban banter right there? Is that not it? Come on. He could be a disruptor in the fashion space, but you're also disrupting 
the 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 other what we're trying to build in the culture. We need a different culture. Well, hold on, brother. See now, you, now you're all over the place. First, first of all, what are, what are we trying to quote unquote build in this culture, huh? If anything, we should be trying to build a culture. We should be trying to build a community. Why well, should not build it, but enforce the, the the one true culture and community that we know that we're supposed to be getting to? All right, that's what we're that's what we should be concerning ourselves with. Okay, but well, you talking over here like oh like like hold on, let me run it, let me run it for y'all. Rock that he could be a disruptor in the fashion space, but you're also disrupting the 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 the, the other, what we're trying to build in the culture. We need a different. Okay, that's my point. Who, what are one? What are you trying to build in the culture? And who's the, who? And two, who's the we? Right? Because I need to know. Three, do, do they know? Because I don't think you know. Because you haven't give, given given us one solid, <laughs> solid word on what the hell the culture is or what you're trying to build in said culture. And that's my point. That's my point. You got people like this dude out here.